We are back at 743 Freeform Friday is underway. It's 5220650. The subjects are yours of which to speak. Uh, gubernatorial candidate and my buddy Bill Walker joins us online. The secret Bill Walker hotline. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Rick. How are you doing today? I am well. You enjoying the sunshine? Uh, always. Very nice. Yeah. Are you out campaigning today? Uh, I am a bit, but I wanted to clarify. I, I heard uh, your last caller. Uh, I referenced the uh, debate the other day, and boy, I wish it was uh, I wish it was televised. I'm actually going to send over to you a clip of the uh, debate just so you get the flavor of my message. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am um, uh, Samuel said that my plan is to finish a gas line in 36 months, and no, it's not to uh, uh, it's to start one. We can start a gas line in 36 months, but the, the real issue of the campaign of the uh, debate had to do with the veto of House Bill 305 uh, by the governor. That's a 20 billion dollar um, a desperate effort to save a GIA, and I, I'm just living. Oh, you're, you're talking about the, um, the the separation of the oil and the gas right. tax, yeah? Right. The legis- legislature caught it. Uh, it was an un- unintended consequence of a GIA to give twenty billion dollars away. The legislature corrected it, and the governor vetoed it. They contributed twenty billion dollars to the to the to the kitty uh, for to in a desperate effort to uh, make sure that a GIA has some appearance of success. And I'm just. I'm just livid about that. That's that was never anticipated, and you know, there's a lot of criticism of Governor Mikowski on on, on uh, concessions of 13, about 13 and a quarter billion dollars. The very same people that were critical of him and left the administration have now authored this and promoted the 20 billion dollar concession of a GIA. Yeah, uh, Rick, that's the cost of the pipeline. Well, so you we're know, going to give away 20 billion dollars. First of all, I can think of a lot better ways to spend 20 billion dollars than, than uh, uh, subsidize a failed gas market in Canada. But um, if we were going to do that much money, we, we should own the darn thing. It's it's very interesting to for me to watch the same people who uh, um, uh, uh, took a, a, a drew a line in the sand, took their stand, do the exact same thing they accused the other guy of doing. Yeah, but but by by amount, a dollar amount, almost double. Yeah, well, no, so, no I mean, on, on multiple I mean, issues. You remember, you remember, Rick? They, it was the whole issue was. We will not give up oil taxes for gas line. Yep. That was they, they stormed out of the administration and, and, and took the high road, supposedly. And now here they are, the authors and defenders of a $20 billion concession for a failed uh, gas market in uh, in Canada. What, what in the world's going on? Well, and above and beyond that, they also said, we're not giving away state sovereignty. You can't lock in uh, gas taxes for this gas line, but we're going to offer it for 10 years. Right. We're going to yeah. offer it for 10 years. and. and and this is this is before the negotiations begin. Yeah, before like, this is where you start on your side of the table. Now let's negotiate. I mean, it's, yeah, where, where, I'm, let, I just live it. I am so <laughs> glad I'm running for governor, Rick. I am you so should. glad I am. I'm. I I am going to I am going to shout from the rooftops exactly what's going on in this state, and and it's absolutely wrong. And and trying to push this push our resources through a, a you know a collapsed gas market in Canada is ridiculous. Yeah, your your your. Preferred method is the uh, liquefied natural gas out of Valdez with a my my yes mine is the all Alaska preferred with it has the permits and I get a little tired of people saying we don't have permits I I am happy to sit down and go through the permits with anybody wants to, to uh, take a look at the export license that we have uh, you and you've know, got a really nice conference room just in case anyone wants to stop by and talk to you <laughs> oh and it's available at any time so. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm just I'm just tired of us uh, seeing how, who can give away the most concessions, and maybe something will happen. If if we just roll up our sleeves and take our tools and our talent and our people and our children go to work, we'll build this thing. I mean, the market is there, the world market is there, the gas is there, the permits are there. I mean, all we all we're lacking is the is the guts and the and, and the governor's office to stand up and say we're going to go to work. We're going to put our people to work and take our natural resources to Alaskans and to the people financed by the world markets, not financed by the state of Alaska, but the world markets were finances. Yeah. Like every other LNG project around the world, so I'm yeah. just tired of waiting, and I'm really tired of giving away concessions that I don't even ask for. I never saw a single producer ask for this twenty dollars concession. Yeah, no, they didn't. Meeting. So where did this come from? They just asked for the cost of uh, uh, business to go down, so they could go back to work. Bill, I'm out of time, my friend, but always a pleasure. Uh, you got any campaign stops coming up where people can come see you? I absolutely do. Tonight we have a co-host of a of a. Uh, 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 the parental consent, the parental notification event. It's called Might versus Right, and we're uh, raising funds for the uh, the challenge on the parental notification uh, initiative. Uh, we're co-hosting with me and me Treadwell's home, and that's at uh, 4:30 to 6:30. Uh, Mead's house is at 521 N Street, 528 N Street.
Beautiful uh, house, downtown. by the way. Yeah, good, good, beautiful house, great place to hang out. Good to hear yeah. from you, Bill. Thanks for the call. Take care. All right, thanks. thanks All right, uh, Bill Walker, gubernatorial candidate in the Republican primary.